And that'll bring up Didi Gregorius. Yeah, man, going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Chopped toward the second baseman. Albies picks it up. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Good manufactured run right there. Lead off double, move him over with the ground ball, and just put the ball in play and let him come home. Make scoring runs look easier than it actually is. Two down, no one on base, and that brings up JT Real Muto. Ready. Here's the first pitch. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Real Muto behind with an 0 and 2 count now. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Throw too late to get him at first. Not a thing of beauty, but it's an infield single nonetheless. Boy, when things are good, things are going really good. How about a swinging butt infield single right there for his third knock of the game, Dero? Yeah, he has to be feeling frisky right now. He's had two great at-bats, and then this one, he's 100% on fire. Getting an infield single for his third knock of the game, that's awesome. Bryce Harper stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1 and 0. That's wide, 2 and 0. Well, you see this a lot. A guy comes out of the bullpen throwing bullets, but he has a tough time finding the zone. Trust me, velocity is a great weapon if the hitters are tempted to swing. The 2 1. High and deep down the left field line. And prior to the 2 2, he'll step out of the box and ask for time. Fly ball right down the line and left. In there, a base hit. Long throw to third. But too late, and he's safe at third. They talk about having a day. How about three at bats, three knocks? Not a bad day, Hero. We used to say in the big leagues on the bench, anybody can get two, can you get three? And if you get three, who's on the hook for four? Into the box now, Reese Hoskins. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball, one and oh. He's 0 for two in the ball game so far. One oh home. Hit out towards second. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. He took that back right where it came from. Nice ribby knock right up the shoot. Yeah, a little bit frustrating as a pitcher. You, know, you always hear that, hey, you want to make yourself one of the defenders, but that ball is hit just out of his reach, right up the middle, base hit, and another run batted in. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, 1 and 1. Looking to minimize the damage here. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Racing back, the right fielder. It's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him as they've widened this lead to eight now.
That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. Call the pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. So now to the plate, Adam Hazley. One ball, no strikes to count. Two and zero to the Philly center fielder. His history with Josh Tomlin, he's one for four. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Acuna giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Another good inning here for the Phillies, and the brotherly love is in abundance now. More of the show, Saturday baseball, after this. So now here is Austin Riley. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Matty, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. The batter will be Christian Pache, struck out in his first at bat. Here it comes. That just misses off the inside for ball one. Now, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. Two balls and a strike to count. One out, nobody on. He's fallen right behind now, three and one. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Thought it was ball four, but it's in there, three and two. Now that pitch tells me this guy's feeling frisky right now. He's on, he's got everything working. This is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Ender Inciarte will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. First pitch of the A-B now. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. His career line against Wheeler, just three for 14. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Down in order go the break. Tyler Matzik gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Here's the first pitch to him. On the ground to the right side. Good throw gets him one gun. Next to stand in is Zach Wheeler getting the hit for himself here largely due to the big cushion he's got to work with. First delivery to him. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Now some action in the Braves bullpen as they'll stand up a right hander to get loose. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Two mid-90s fastballs and you're down 0-2. This is where you gotta take a deep breath and pot commit. You're either all in on another fastball or you're finding a way to stay back to attack something off speed. Got him to go down swinging there. Zach Wheeler becomes out number two this inning. Next to hit, Alec Bowen in his career versus this pitcher. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. First offering. Strike swinging. Chased a high one there. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Albee scoops it up. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia, as it remains an eight to nothing ball game. 
seventh inning ready to roll. And standing in is the switch hitting second baseman, Ozzie Albies. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. A ball and a strike now to the Atlanta leadoff man. Chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. And the 2 1. To short, hit hard. Gregorius has it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Next up, Dansby Swanson. He went down on strikes last time up. And it takes strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. What a well-executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Man, not quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Out in front of that one. May have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one. And this guy's been victimized three times already today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and oh. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Very weakly on the ground. Now the 2-1. Strike two, swinging. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Freeman will head to second. Now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Well, the pitcher can't really worry about that one. I mean, it was only their second hit of the game, so he's doing a lot of things right. Let's see if he can leave them out there now. The 1 0. Hey, that's just a nice get me over curveball there to steal a strike. I don't think he was looking for that one. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Swings through it for strike number two. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. Yeah, he's grinded this one out and he's got a chance to get through it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Didi Gregorius steps in once more as we look back at the big game he's already had. He got off to a fast start with two homers in the early going. And he swings right over the top of this one, nothing in one. This is high, a ball and a strike. Fouled off. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Digging in now for Philadelphia. JT Wilmuto, his career numbers in this matchup. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. After it is Acuna. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Bryce Harper, singled in his last at bat.
Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Hard around first is Harper racing for second. 